Oh, this damage right here? Watch. <laughs> 200k from an E. That is what happens when you just overjuice a Celo like that. Well, if you haven't known already, uh, mine's E6, so that's not the point. Hello, Internet! With the release of, like, what? Is it the fifth now? Fifth Harmony character probably in the game? We have unlocked the most brain dead idea ever. What happens if I spam the most broken Harmony characters like these three? I'm about to juice you up so bad. You're gonna think, damn, why do people say she's outdated? And overview of the stats, though. I'm going really try hard on this. Now, Robin, no nothing too crazy with Robin. It's just a normal Robin. But with my sparkle, it's this stat. 157 speed. We got all the normal stuff, but you are on the win set. She'll get three turns in the first cycle. Same with Bronya, 161 speed, so she will also get three turns in the first cycle. The first thing I shall showcase, what happens if I make Seal take 2,000 turns? We will find out now. This is certainly not the most efficient team for sure, though, but well, it's just spamming Harmony characters, right? They're all just so good. And oh my god, Seal, you look terrifying. So if you're watching this and you're like, oh, I don't even want to pull Robin, uh, yes, you do. Well, at least if you don't have, you know, the rest of what I'm showing you here. Even under non-ideal circumstances, I'm pretty sure we're just this. We'll actually have a Sela counter this time. Last time we had a Kafka alt counter, this time will be a Sela turn counter. And we have the first room with OP Harmony character number one. We'll get Sela to turn with you. The problem this team is my skill point is gonna disappear among the sea of butterflies. <laughs> you get it? Because that's her entire ulti. We'll get an extra turn here. I want double stack on my passive, right? So now we get um Sparkle. We get two turns already so far. And guess what? Third turn, baby. We're going with the ultimate. This should really do a lot. I have over 100 crit rate because I'm tired of hunt characters is missing it, so 58k. You would think like, oh, that's terrible. But brother, on this dino with damage mitigation, that's actually insane. What the shit? Let's go for the E though. Back at 34. It's not too crazy with your damage mitigation. But the moment it breaks though, I'm pretty sure you just died. I already misplayed. Oh, damn it. I'm gonna use my ult, man. But that means I don't get my third turn though. Dude, I've misplayed. Well, we'll get the third turn with Bronya, I guess. Here we go. It's time to juice up the Sela. Crit damage buff. Bronya crit damage buff. Action advance from Sparkle. Red 363 crit damage. The enemy should be higher than 80% also. I should get 15% extra crit rate. Hopefully that's the case. Oh, but after this E, it wouldn't be though. Now I can actually miss some gosh dang crits. Here we have the Robin. Welcome to my... She doesn't really sing it like now. Now she sings, right? No, oh, whatever, man. Well, we have the seal now. It's time to die. Damage number one. Watch this ulti damage. Are you ready, guys? We'll push you one time and let's just queue in the seal ulti and we're gonna break you with this. The damage here would be sublime. Oh my god. Not gonna lie, I thought it would be more than that. The damage mitigation does not disappear the moment you break it. After that, though, like right now, oh, this damage right here, watch. <laughs> 200k from an E. That is what happens when you just overjuice a Celo like that. Well, if you haven't known already, uh, mine's E6, so that's not the point, though. The point is how many turns did Celo get? I just realized I completely forgot about that, so I don't know, man. My editor's probably gonna put it on the bottom right. If I'm not mistaken, it's probably like the eighth turn or something. I don't know. We have a Bronya here, which I really can't use my E, so I can use my Q here. But here comes another action advance. Let's go. I'm forced to let them hit me. This dino's gonna be actually pretty scary. The damage here will be si Oh, oh gosh. Ah. Alright, so let's not hit the one with less chance to be hit in Sela, okay? I think we're fine. I don't know how many turns you got, but I feel like I've seen you before, Sela. I, I feel like I've seen you a lot. Now we got our ulti, though. What I'll do is I'll just use a Q into my ulti right away. This might actually one-shot you. 308 crit damage with all my buffs with a gosh damn Robin singing, welcome to my world. I'm thinking this might be too 250k damage or something crazy like that. And back, yeah, it's 228. And that's not including Robin's damage, right? I, I swear they should just make it show all the damage, man. What does it not show? Well, either way, though, let's see if I can live. I don't even know, man. This, this dinosaur hurts. If he takes one more turn, I might just die, though. No? We'll make sure that it doesn't happen. But, well, that's one more turn for Seal. Let's see it. How many? You just used your ulti, did you not? You just used your LT, yo. Don't mind if I do, let's do it again. This should do like way less damage. Watch this, bang, 110k. You can tell his mitigation's crazy. Literally half your damage is gone. But yeah, uh, one more turn from the racist to the Sela. Here comes the E and we're gonna get this in zero cycle too. Hell yeah. Get my entire team a turn because, well, Robin is just AoE Bronya these days. You are replaced, Bronya. you hear me? Now I'm pretty sure I just win no matter what. Let's just do that. Yeah, that basic did 18k. Where did it even come from? That's from Sela's E6, isn't it? It? Yeah, it's Butterfly Flurry. Oh gosh, I'm such a whale. Because I know you're dead, I'm just curious. How much is a racist kick here? Oh, okay. Not too crazy, I guess, but this will kill you. Boom, there we go. Now, I don't know how much turn she took, but it's probably something stupid if you look at the bottom right. And
and that is what happens when you choose a DPS of all the Harmony characters. We just don't try to seal a spam of all the Harmony characters. We'll go to MOC 12 and we'll put that into the absolute limit. Let's see what happens now. We're two of the latest and best Harmony characters here. We're gonna juice up our Sela. I thought about just running like Branya anyway or say run main instead of entry, but nah, man, that does not work. And here we go, Japan. I will submit you to what Branya had to go through. Grief and pain as she saw her mom die to my hands. Except for your case, I'll kill you. Okay, that was maybe too mean. This will actually be kind of informative as well for anyone who's like interested in the middle or anything. E6 Sela. Now, I've used E6 Akron, E6 Robin, all that as well. I can tell you for sure, as the first limited batter, her E6 is not at the same level. The first ever limited is not going to be as strong as like the current limit is, but I think it's been quite long enough. But anyways, here's all is calm. I resisted with a Sela. We'll get you the turn again. We're gonna ulti in here. Now, Sela will be god mode. I'm hoping to kill someone first, but I don't know if I can. Dude, you're so tanky. But now we get to sing with Robin. Let's go. Welcome to your grave. Here comes all the demons that I can throw at them. We'll have blind bats on your jazz, and we'll just juice up the seal now. Oh gosh, the amount of damage I'll do. Let's find out. We might just one shot you. Freaking Disney have an ass. Disappear about a seal of butterflies. And bang. Oh my god. Hey, 200k damage without the dirt. How many characters? That's pretty good, man. And well, guess what? It's still my turn. And one more onto you. This should just kill you. Oh, it, it's close, but we have our own again. God, I guess since you're dead, we might as well ult somebody else. Let's ult the sassy looking robot. Like, look at you. You just have to stand in a curve like that. I didn't crit deny. Oh, gosh. Honestly, this is an actual issue with Sela. She's just stupidly hard to use, man. 90 crit rate, man. What more do you want from me? Just crit, please. All right. Dead is the dog. With the extra turn, I have no clue how many turns this is now. It's probably like near two digits. And can we kill you with this hit right here? I doubt it. Well, if I crit, maybe. Like, like, let's see. And a bang. Okay, we finally crit. Oh, gosh. If I crit the first time, man, this would have been... Oh, oh my. Did you see my full team just f it? Yo. My Robin pretty much gets her ulti already. I'll go for a Q for now, and that's like the one little bit of push left I need for Sila to take another turn. Surely this kills you, right? Are you kidding me? Oh, come on. How did that not kill you? I gotta save the cycle, right? I'm gonna keep it Robin's on this one if I need, but thank God. I misclicked it. Oh, come on. No, I don't want you to sing yet. It was supposed to be a surprise for Japan. Oh, well, it's too late now. All right, so Sila just took a turn. We're gonna push you again for you to take another turn. Oh, gosh. Literally back-to-back -back turns. Like, what? Don't mind if I do. Let's go and use an E into the ulti. How much damage will this be? It should probably half health you already. It's not as much as I thought. Oh, gosh. I just realized this, but with Sila's E6, I get that debuff thing on the enemy, so Robin does additional damage if I attack them as well, so it's a lot of additional damage, man. It's kind of interesting, I guess. The fact that I could choose to just use a Q and look at where I appear. <laughs> right after they both take the turn, I lap my entire team. Why is it E now, though? How much damage would this be? 93k could be higher. Right, you're attacking the one with the lowest chance to be hit. Okay, that makes total sense right now. I'm not mad at all. Right, we gotta do this, and Seal needs to... I, dude, I think Seal dies here. You're, you're probably gonna target her now. And you are not... Okay, not yet. Nice. I do not feel safe. Right, now I can, like, stop trolling and finally keep Robin with the right timing, right? So let's go ahead. Welcome to your grave. Now we're virtually not sure what I want to do here. Oh, gosh, I don't like the fact that I'm so red. Oh, we'll keep going now. What? E into the ulti. How much damage would this be? Disappear by the sea of butterflies. Okay. Not enough. Well, to be fair, this is not a quantum weak side, right? But man, it's an E6 though. That cost me a lot, but eh, I don't I don't feel the power though, boy. At the start, I sure feel powerful. Now, if they were quantum weak though, I bet I would still feel somewhat powerful. But then again, E6, dude. I've tried E6 Robin. That was like a whole different dimension of strong. But yeah, I actually lost if gosh damn Robin. Do I even have a shot left, man? You know what? We're not gonna give up until the end. Let's just keep going. Can we kill you with this? Come on, bang. Oh, dude, that is not enough damage. I gotta shield up. You know, we're not giving up until the end. You're not gonna kill me here. Bang, please. Oh, nah. Disappear among the sea of butterflies. I became the butterfly that disappeared. Well, I thought this was supposed to be spamming those broken harmony characters with DPSs, but it turns out it's just me trying to take like 10,000 turns with Sela. In that factor, it did work out though. I had so much turn with Sela, man. Oh, man. This video did not turn out the way I wanted it to. Well, what well, with the latest update just, you know, dying down a little bit now because, you know, it's been a week. Soon we'll have Boot Hill though, which is pretty that good. But I'm sorry, guys. This video is probably not too interesting, but I mean, I hope you guys still enjoy 
my goofy out voice. And if anything, the educational information that we can extract here, Seal's Eilon is certainly not, you know, that crazy, I would say. Compared to when Seela releases, like, she's certainly not the beast she was before. This became the butterfly that disappeared. Maybe that's what she meant. Maybe every time she ults, she's like, guys, I'm gonna get replaced by Akron soon. Jokes aside, though, don't sleep on her, right? Like, if it was a quarter week stage, we still slap with Seela. If anything, better than Akron. So I would say this game's kind of good at balancing characters, though. Like, if I put Akron against the deer, I'd be trash. But if it's Seela, I, I better win. But anyways, guys, this is kind of like a whatever video. I wanted it to go entirely differently, but well, at least we know um, how many turns Seela took. Do comment all the way any ideas you might have. Sometimes I take your comments and turn them into videos. Hope you guys still enjoyed. That is all. Take care.